Jesus, and fear of God, and hearing us pray to all. Oh, For as he had in the rich constant, he found for his evidence our Archbishop David. With the honorable person to the African parts for the clergy and the people, let us pray to the whole. For this country is present for all civil authorities and for those who serve in the armed forces, let us pray to the whole. For this city, for this city, for every city and country, and for those who faith dwell therein, let us pray to the whole. Favorable weather for abundance and fruit of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our children's more tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us save us and mercy on us and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Remember thee, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious name. And never virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other. With all our life unto Christ our God. For unto the earth all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of the age Thank you. 
mercy on us and keep us all God by thy grace. The reigning and most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And to thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thank you. 
goeth before me, for he is at my right hand, and I shall not be moved. The Lord has shown the wonders of his will to the saints in his land. The Lord has shown the wonders of his will to the saints in his land. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Let us abstain. Brethren, by faith, the saints subdue kingdoms, work righteousness, obtain promises, stop the mouth of lions, quench the violence of fire, escape the edge of the sword. By the weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the enemies. Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trial of cruel mockings and scourging, death and of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain by the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, and in tents and caves of the earth. And all these, having obtained a good report through faith, did not receive the promise, God having promised something better for us, that they should not be made perfect without us. Wisdom. In the second tone, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Thy priest shall be clothed in righteousness, and thy saints shall rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Wisdom, let us attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel, peace be to the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, great multitudes followed Jesus from Galilee, from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. He opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you, and men shall revile you, and say all, oh, and persecute you, and say all oh, manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were. Be 
today. Today we gather on this uh, 24th of September and we commemorate a feast. Uh, it's in, the number of saints has actually kind of changed within the OCA. Uh, the initial feast was just called the Feast of the Alaskan Martyrs. But the church commissioned that feast on the 24th of September because on the 24th of September, the mission from Bolan, the early mission, the very first one, you know, St. Herman, uh, our commander, Yosef, uh, whom some consider a saint, but I haven't found any record. Of, I've seen icons, but I haven't seen any formal record of him actually being canonized. But, you know, so, um, Yosef, our commander, Yosef Bolotov, actually went back to Russia, was reporting on Baranov and his uh, behavior, um, and he was made... Bishop of Kodiak. He was actually our first bishop of Alaska, but he his ship sank off the coast of Kodiak, so he never actually was able to, he was ordained the bishop, he was made the bishop, and he never actually set foot in Alaska before he sank and was and was killed. So uh, but there are those that consider him a saint. Of course, um, also amongst this, this mission was our beloved St. Herman, and Hiram Martyr Juvenal. And St. Juvenal and St. Peter, the Alley, were initially the two saints that we celebrated here. And we were remembering these two saints and, and the arrival of the mission. And we have seen, we just, if anybody paid attention uh, this weekend and watched the services, they're online. We've got it up. On our, on our YouTube channel again. If anybody had seen those and visited those, you've seen that there are six saints in Sitka alone. Six of them in Sitka alone. And then this mission expands. Matushka Olga of Quitluck will most likely, within the next some, some number of years, also be made a saint. This, this land is growing saints. And our task, our task is to continue that mission, to continue to proclaim the gospel of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, right here in Alaska to all peoples. And this is going to make, again, as I've said before, and I'll say this again, it's going to make our parishes look a little different. Some of the greatest conflicts when you talk to the old elders at St. At, at St. Nicholas have been the simple fact that, you know, Sitka doesn't look like Juno, Juno doesn't look like Huna, and Huna doesn't look like Angoon. And everybody is trying to come to the other parish and make it function exactly like their other parish. And that's not going to work. I mean, the, the populations in Huna and Angoon and Juno and Sitka are very different. Juno being in the capital, we have, you know, I look around our parish, I look at our people, and we have people from everywhere. We have Greeks, we have Romanians, we have Ukrainians, we have Russians, we have Kingan, we have Serbs, we have American converts like myself, we have ethnic German converts, we have all kinds of things. And all of these people come together in one place to proclaim the one God, to worship God with joy and love. And we remember that, that we're here to worship in joy and love because the Cunyan word for worship, and again, I, God forgive me, I've forgotten the word itself, but I remember Dr. Dauenhauer used to sit right over there, miss his presence so much. But he, he told me one day that, you know, the actual, you know, why do we not have pews? Because that understanding is actually very simple. 
Because when we come here as part of the mission to, and to worship, the thing at word for worship literally translates as to make dance before the face of God. And that's what we're here to do. We are not here to be the boss. I'm not here to be in charge. That's the commonality amongst all the mission. They weren't there to exercise authority. They were not there to exercise authority. They were there, and they came. And all of these saints were here, first and foremost, to love the people. So if you can't look across the room and love everybody who we see in church, and everybody who you come in contact with, you are not really proclaiming the gospel of Christ. If the gospel of Christ and becoming an Orthodox Christian has become, in many of our parishes down here in the Southeast, it's not about proclaiming the gospel. It's about coming and playing power plays and playing politics. And every one of our parishes Every one of the, the four old parishes has suffered for this mightily. Our attendance is down. The people who want to be part of our community is down. It's an obstacle. And we must find that way to love, to learn, to teach, and let all of where we are at influence us at the same time, our primary task, our primary task is to love one another and to grow forever. Because if you can't love your neighbor, if you can't love one another, and I'm paraphrasing the scriptures here, if you can't love each other, those whom you see, how are you going to love the Christ whom we do not see? Love each other, love the Christ, grow forever. This is all that it takes. This is what it is. That's our steadfast part. And then we take the words of St. Peter the Alleyhood and hold fast. Hold fast to his stubbornness. Because I know we're stubborn around here. Every last one of us. We're all stubborn. Because in the face of all the torture, you know, give up your faith, pronounce the, do what we're doing, be, a, be, be Christian like us. He kept saying, but I'm an Orthodox Christian. I will not betray my faith. I'm already an Orthodox Christian. That was what he said while they were torturing him until he bled out and died of shock, most likely. That example is glorious. And then we also remember, and I'll, I'll talk, I'll keep it short here, but we need to remember you know, just the story in its own right of St. Juvenal. That, that, that beginning priest, that first martyr along with his unknown companion, of King Habak. Now, I know the old sources have always said Iliamna, but the old sources are quite wrong, because the old sources, we get Iliamna from the old uh, Bancroft scholarship, not long after the sale of Alaska to the United States. Now, Bancroft was an American historian who didn't speak Russian, and he had somebody do his research for him. Now, the person he paid to do his research into the Russian uh, didn't do much research and just started making things up. And that's where we get he was martyred at Ilyan. The oral tradition of the village of Kinhagak says something very different. Very, very different. And St. Innocent talks about, you know, our commander, Juvenal, and the missionaries arguing about who was going to, you know, Who's going to convert more people? Who's going to bring more people to Christ? Who's going to bring the Christ to the most places? Of course, he was overjoyed by this. And so they were all throughout their areas. And what St. Juvenal and his unnamed Aleut companion and translator were going to these, this village in the King Hagak area. The local shaman, assuming that he was another shaman, wanted to chase him off. You know, you don't want somebody else into your territory. It messes up with your, your spiritual power, your, your, your spirit world stuff. So he told them to go away. And you know, they kept rowing to the shore. And he told his villagers, you know, get your spears ready. And 
And so they did, and he kept coming. And, you know, they got themselves ready. They were ready to throw and harpoon. And, you know, St. Juvenal, according to the stories, he started swatting at flies. He started, you know, swatting at flies towards them. And, but they kept coming. And the shaman told his people to let loose. And St. Juvenal was killed. And we know the other young man, was a, his companion, was Alu, because they were talking about how he was swimming like a seal, which is a very common Alu way to do, while they chased him down and, and killed him as well. Now, the tradition of the shamans was, you know, you took the objects of power from any shaman you had defeated. You took them from him and made them your own and took his power for yourself. Well, so you know, they took, the shaman took St. Juvenal's item of power off of him, and he started doing the ceremony to take the power and give it to himself. And he's standing there with the ceremony, and he's doing his thing, and it picks him up off the ground and drops him. So he looks at it and he does it again. Picks him up off the ground and it drops him. He tried it a third time and picked him up off the ground and it dropped him. And he looked at everyone and said, okay, this is more powerful than anything I've got. The next time somebody comes dressed like this, we need to hear them out. If anybody comes like that again, we need to we need to hear what they're what they're teaching. And the story in Kinagak is you know, they got there and people knew they, they they were aware of orthodoxy and ready to receive it. The next, by the time the missionaries got back to that area, because this story had been passed down and passed down and passed down, and in the face of just that memory and the knowledge of that power. People remained faithful and waiting for the truth. A truth that was revealed to them by someone simply loving them, not fighting against them, not doing anything. Just came and swatted at flies. And if we're going to do anything about this, any, any kind of combat, anything that gets, our, gets us agitated and ready to fight, we need to take St. Juvenal's example. And we also need to start swatting flies. So when we swat those flies, let them be gone from us. Let us come together. Let us be who we are in faith and love and most importantly, in joy. Throughout all of our struggles, let us maintain faith and love and joy of the resurrection in Christ because this is who we are. Christ is risen. Death is no more. Christ has come and delivered us. We must now reach out and take the peace that he brought, the conquest of hell, and put it right here. And find it right here. That's where it will come. And when we have done this, we will, as is taught, get ourselves out of the way. And we get ourselves out of the way, we have room for the Holy Spirit to enter. Once we have acquired the Holy Spirit, thousands around us will be saved. It won't be for our projects. It won't be because we're the best ethnic church in the world. It won't be for any other reason than we have acquired the spirit of peace and thousands around us will be saved. That is our task. That is our goal. So let us go forward and let us strive each and every day to put in our hearts the spirit of peace and the spirit of truth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Let us say with all our soul, and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, almighty the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Again, we pray for his beatitude, our authority come for his evidence, our Archbishop David, and for all our brethren in Christ. <laughs> Countries, present for all civil authorities and for those who serve in the armed forces. <laughs> Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests, the deacons, the higher monks, the higher deacons, and for all our brotherhood in Christ. <laughs> We pray for the blessed and irrevocable, most holy, orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and irrevocable founders of this holy house, <clears throat> and for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodox departed this life before us, here in all the world, by asleep in the world. <laughs> Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation. For the servants of God, Mesh, Pat, and Theodosius, Old Michelle, Cameron, Kate, Michelle, T. Hun, David, Nikolai, for the years of for Brandon, for Mikhail, for those suffering from coronavirus, for doctors, nurses, CNAs, for medical staff, for those suffering from injustice, and those called to enforce the law, and for those gathered here this day, and for those who meet us might call to mind, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. <laughs> Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works this cold and other little house for those who labor and for those who sing, and for all the people here present who wait by your and rich mercy. <laughs> the power to us for God among us mankind, to thee to send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the age Let us the faithful again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom for to thee, the Lord. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. Again, again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom that God and always by thy might be sent up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
For those depart this life before us in the hope of resurrection and life eternal. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. <clears throat> to you and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and to the ages. Amen. Son, who now are blessed together with thy own holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hear and see, and peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Thank you. 
which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remember the saving commandment and all those things which come to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension to heaven, the sitting on the right hand, the second, and glorious coming. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee Supplicate thee, send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offered, and make this body to be the precious blood, body, make this bread to be the precious body of thy Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that which is in this cup to be the precious blood of thy Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Making the change by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theophilia, and ever virgin Mary. <laughs> Grantham for thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days. Write that you divide the word of thy truth. And grant us with one mouth and with one heart to glorify in him thy honorable and magnificent name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of age of the mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts he has set forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I know not of men time receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly and ideal altar, as a savor of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. For I will lose both rich and that thing during necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us save us and pursue us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Let the whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. And praise the Lord. And peace, faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. And praise the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. And praise the Lord. 
All things that are profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Let me complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Rich living through our life, painless, blameless, peace for the good, defense but for the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. And the rest of the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other. And all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. 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 Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine own holy, good, and life breathing spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. And I believe also that this is truly thine own most pure body, and that this is truly thine own precious blood. And therefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge of my grace. And make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries for the remission of my sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical succor, the Son of God, accept me today as a community. For I will not speak of thy mysteries to the enemies, neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be that to my judgment. Nor to thy condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body. Amen. Thank you. 